Of course, you ask them, what does this actually do? They never really know. It might help you. Well, you're talking about your life or death. Might's not good enough. I dripped all the muscles off the bone years ago. About well, four-wheeler, pulling it out of the mud, but, yeah. Anyway, like I say, I'd get crotosome shot for it, but it still wouldn't work. I could grab it, pull it down, but to, to just reach back and do something like that, that you just didn't want to go there anymore. I was told by the doctor that that would never come back in my shoulder because it had literally ripped the muscle off of the bone. He said it'll get to the point where you can use it, but that's always going to cause you trouble and never work right again. That was his opinion. And he was right up until I started taking the oil. Eric's father got diagnosed with fast-acting lung cancer and was given six months to live. And and because I had recently read about it, I said, well, what about hemp oil? <laughs> and just to see what his reaction was. And so maybe, you know, I said, have you read about it in the paper? Like, maybe we should talk about it. Once I found out that it would work on this, I said, well, sure, I'm willing to try it. And never go back now, I can tell you that. After talking to Rick, he said, you know, it works on chronic pain. I said, well, I'm your candidate to try that because I've lived that since 99, every day of my life. You know, I go to bed with it, I get up with it. If I wake up in the middle of the night, it's there. It just never went away. Now I get a full night's sleep. I feel good when I get up in the morning. The pain's never back the way it was. I always knew that marijuana was medicinal. I knew it worked for glaucoma. Oh, oh, my eyes, my eyes, my glaucoma. Yo, gee, I forgot about that. Yeah, glaucoma, I had that bad. Mine was up to my... I don't know if you people understand too much about glaucoma, but anyway, the pressure in your eyes, that's what it is. One eye's down to 14 and the other one's uh, 16, from 31, 32. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better, 10 times better. I get no pain in my legs now. Uh, my eyesight's improving, and I'm proud of my face. It's wrinkled up, but I ain't got the big holes in there, like a head, and uh, stuff running from them. Uh, I feel much better. I don't know what I'd have done if I hadn't come across Mr. Simpson. I might not be sitting on this chair today. I take it twice a day, usually in the morning and at night. So, and uh, out of that, well, like I say, a drop is all I take. And that's all you need. Because, I mean, that's, I don't have anything terminally picking away at me, right? Well, that I know about. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't figure I ever will have now. After I used it, and it did clear up the symptoms I had, 20 years younger, physically, 20 years younger. It is taking that pain out of my back, that aching out of my back that I had from those three back injuries that I've had for so long. And just having that pain out of my back, it has changed my life. I, 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 can, I can sleep again. I can, I can lay down again. I can sit up and get in a chair. I mean, there were so many nights that I, I, I laid there at the kitchen table at 2 o'clock in the morning crying because this, this aching, you know, it, it just wouldn't go away. And, uh, and to have that gone in itself was fine with me. Like, like anything else, I said, okay, I can handle anything else. I'm rid of this now, you know type of thing and uh, it's a God's blessing. It eliminated the pain enough that I can function perfect. The pain I have left is well within tolerable levels. I mean we all have pain, right? I mean especially when you get older. I'm 52 years old. I'm, you know, I'm not as... and like I say I've had four open heart surgeries. That slows you down a little bit. But I can't complain about my lifestyle right now and what I can do. I'm just happy as can be because I never thought I'd be able to do it. You know, I've been told by the medical profession years ago that I'd only sit in the couch and watch TV. That I didn't have enough parts left to go. I mean, I've never had any side effects. No problem that way. Seems to control my weight, though. I used to have an awful problem gaining weight and it going away, gaining weight. Now my weight just stays dead and that's all the same. And I don't know what that is. I think it just helps your body work with itself. The reason I think that people have a hard time believing what the hemp oil can do is because they've been brainwashed by our system. I mean, we've seen, all seen the commercials, you know, hemp, marijuana is bad. Well, I would like someone to prove, show me where the bad is. Who died from hemp? 
it's like everyone you hear about it you meet the people that have done it but everybody it's like I guess if you see in some ways for the people I guess to believe in him it's like if people say they saw a UFO it's seeing is believing so for me that was like just incredible I'm just happy to be alive you know because there was nothing the doctors to do but they just say go home and die more or less you know they didn't come out and say that, but they just said there was nothing they could do for me. Uh, I didn't really want to come down here, but my better half forced me to come, come, and I did. And that's the best move that I ever made in my life. <laughs> no. That's when things changed, you know. I started eating. I started feeling better. I walked out of here with hope, which I didn't have when I first came in. But I walked out of here, I had all kinds of hope and prayed to God and things worked out, you know, and the hemp oil just started working. The government and the medical system do not want you to have the ability to cure your own diseases. These people don't want anything to change. They've got the big cars, they've got the big bank accounts. Well, we're happy the way it is and now, now that we know about this oil, well, yeah, we can afford to go buy it because we're the ones that make the big money. They don't give a damn about the poor people. There seems to be a lot of things that this can help, and it's just a sin we're not allowed to find out more for the sake of the ungodly dollar. I mean, that's what it always boils down to, right? I mean, people should have a right in this country to keep themselves well. And I mean, that should be a basic right. I thought it was supposed to be, but... I'm finding out not so much. I went to the doctor in Amherst and uh, I got him told him what I was doing. He froze right in his tracks. I told him a story that I heard that it would work. And I said, will it work or will it not? Now he said, Cecil, be, up, be honest about it. He said, I can't confirm it and I can't deny it. There's so many people out there suffering with so many diseases that this works for. And I don't, at nights I don't sleep very well because I think of those little children that are being poisoned and that are being fed chemotherapy and radiation and, and infants. And, and This is so horrible. Find out how good it is. Well, I know it's good, but listen, it's more than just for cancer. If you have a serious medical condition, such as cancer, what right does anyone have to tell you that you cannot use hemp medicine? Take a look of, of me six months ago. I was up and down, up and down, like I had no energy, had nothing to do. Like now I, I, I want to live. I want to live. You know, God put it out there for us. Why are we using it? Why are, we, why are we denying this to somebody that's going to save someone else's life? If people would just realize how much this medicine can help them, the world would be a better place. This is a miracle medicine. There's no way around that. I got nothing else to say, but, you know, it, it's good. It's, it does the trick. It works. I just know that the hemp oil works. I, I really can't explain. It works. It works. That's all I can say. You know, like, uh, it works. God loves us. All these people, they... How do you not believe this? I mean, it's, it's right before your eyes. In January 07, my father came to stay with my wife and I because his cancer had become unmanageable. He could not stay alone anymore. At this point, the man had fluid in both lungs, couldn't even hardly walk around. His breathing had gone down to 70% and he was on his last legs. We started him on the treatment. In the side of three months, the cancer was completely gone. In between that, he got nothing but better. The man improved every day from the time he started the oil until he went to a maintenance dose in March. from my CAT scan and uh, I was going down the hallway and I ran into a, a nurse and she was shocked when she seen me. Die. I wish I would have had a camera because take the picture of her face yeah. it was worth a million and 
I went over to get the CAT scan. I wasn't going to go, but I went over because I wanted to make sure. You know, like we always had that little doubt in your mind, and the results were I am cancer free. And I was the happy boy. <laughs> <laughs>